<clears throat> Hello everyone, Zach Moore, aka Bluesprint 107 here. We are back in Greedfall, and as you can see, I am now level 38, because again, I went on a grinding spree. Though not as much as I wanted to, per se, um, but I have managed to, of course, upgrade this armor completely. I still don't know why this fucking thing is saying that there's a hat, because there's only the ambassador's hat. So I don't understand. It's broken. Gotta actually start working on willpower, but otherwise I've worked on some other stuff. I've actually upgraded this armor with purple gear now, <clears throat> so that makes me even better than before. Um, and I have gotten the ability to wield this great sword here, the broadsword of the deceased king. That's the little weapon I got from beating the arena back in New Serene. I also currently have a two-handed steel sword equipped that's actually supposed to just be for taking out armor because I wanted to save my bullets. I forget if I got this last time on stream, but I got the Prince Flintlock rifle. And just to give you an idea of what the current skill tree looks like, it looks like this. As you can see, I've completely taken care of the technical side of the tree. Uh, I'm not going to complete the warrior side yet because I want to save getting the blunt weapons for last just because Thomas and... A lot of my other characters, they don't use blunt weapons like axes and maces and everything like that. But, you know, I've gotten all that, and I've also gotten bomb. There's a bomb hits all enemies in a large area. It doesn't seem to do too much damage, or at least not as much damage as I'd hoped. But then again, I've only tested it out on the one boss that I was grinding back in the arena. So, it also has the ability to poison people. So that's nice. We'll see how well that goes. Um, but otherwise, though, yeah, I've got all this stuff now. And I can roll. Basically, if I just double tap the dodge button twice in a certain direction, I can roll. And I've also started working on Divine Magic Rings, at least in the skill tree here. But in order to, like, actually get the best rings for this, I'm going to have to work on willpower, I believe. Is that a willpower or a mental power? One of these two which I'm currently working on endurance just to keep increasing my life points and everything in the balance. And eventually I'll work on strength, because strength you only really need to use it for the blunt weapons, as you see. But otherwise I got agility up to 5, so you know, I can wield the best weapons, and marksman up to 5, or accuracy, I mean. So that's nice. I just gotta start working on these once I'm done with endurance, which my next point is in two levels. And then talents. As you can see, I haven't completely upgraded charisma, but that's just because I'm already wearing a cape. And I haven't upgraded lock picking up all the way just because of my chest piece, but I still have those here. Um, and I've got craftsman and science up to level 3, so that way I can stop having to switch to the goldsmith gloves and I'm forgetting to switch them back. All I have to do is work on intuition and vigor, and then eventually when I get those last two points, I will focus on charisma and lock picking, And then probably try to switch out the thing that's on my chest. I am not 100% certain if I'm going to do that yet, but I do think I might. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, though, we are currently in the camp on the way to the San Mateus, or one of the two camps, actually. There's the camp that's out in the wilderness. I decided to ignore that. What is this guy's deal? Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Alright, guess he's not too important just yet, but he had the ability to talk to you, so I was like, okay, well, let's see. So maybe he's going to be important in a minute. Either way, though. We're just going to head over to San Mateus and... Nope, let's not open the ball. It's just the flames. Gosh damn it. We're going to head over to San Mateus, finally talk to the governor, see if there's any quests to do. And yeah, that'll be fun. So, let's get to it, I guess. <laughs> Your accommodation. Ah. Yeah, it must be nearby that place. Pardon. 
I don't know. I have not actually gone inside the uh, place to San Mateus just yet. You know, the governor's building or whatever, because I haven't. Can I just make an assumption it's this place? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. It's the church. No, that makes total sense. Also, what is up with San Mateus? They, like, put fucking suns on their roads and everything. Uh, the roads? Maybe not? That, maybe that's not the right word. I'm not sure. I don't know. They put fucking suns on the floor, and I'm just confused as all hell. <sighs> no, if San Mateus is the Spanish Inquisition. Also, this is called Place of Punishment. Look at what the fuck they're doing. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, they're actually killing a guardian. Perhaps I'm just trying to, I'm not sure. Do you renounce your gods? Oh, what the fuck, dude. Ah, uh, and I just so happen to bring the lawn sewer in this Why time. are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. It's not how your faith works, Forget you bastard. Pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Renounce your gods! <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, I certainly hope I get to kill you later. Inquisitor. Dude, don't walk at you me like you're about to kill me like the winter soldier. Are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address <laughs> with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Hmm. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine this time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. Gosh damn it. This guy thinks he's the one fucking dude from, uh... Uh, Knight's Tale. I almost forgot the fucking name of the movie. It's one of my favorite movies from back then. Still, What the fuck is wrong with this guy? This guy is the exact reason why I don't like fanatics. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem with religion. There's too many fanatics. It's a problem with atheism, too. They also have their own fanatics, and I know what you guys are thinking. Like, what the fuck are you saying, boy? Dude, shut up, okay? To put this madman to the sword, but you did well. <laughs> Congratulations. You are already a great diplomat. It seems to me you're being sarcastic. Me? Oh, my apologies, my lord. It wasn't my intention. 
All right, but no, seriously, there are bad people on both sides of the equation. You can refer to them as fanatics, or you can just refer to them as any other things. There are plenty of words that work. Okay, it's just people stop being assholes to other people is all I'm Young saying. Man. Also, of course. Oh. Pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin. Mm -hmm. And I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus. How divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I mm -hmm. had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to mm. New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Yeah, Petrus seems like one of those guys in the faith that is actually pretty nice, but he's also pretty sneakative from the things I've seen. I have seen other things that are pretty spoilerish, so I'm not going to bother saying, Your eminence. but yeah. In the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? Mm -hmm. An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no planet worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. All right, but, okay. We shall remove Kurt from the team, and we'll have Petra alone. And Petra, wow, okay. He's actually pretty balanced in all of his stats, which his, you know, fortifications are mental power, endurance, and willpower. I guess he's supposed to be a battle mage of sorts, because um, mental power and willpower are, of course, the major things that you focus on for a mage. But then endurance, of course, is about your uh, strength and everything. I mean, not your strength, but like your constitution. And he is also one of the other companions that likes to wear heavy armor, if I recall. So... And then Siora, of course, she's got better mental power but weaker willpower, and she's more about agility as well, so that's pretty normal. Um, but yeah, we'll take this team along for us for now. Alright, so now we can talk to Constantine about what they both said. We're gonna also, of course, uh, try to upgrade Petrus a bit. Um, but still, he is one of the more interesting companions in this game, from the things I have seen. Uh, and he's definitely, like, not as fanatical as that one Inquisitor. That guy was an asshole, and um, I 
don't remember if we can take him down or something in this game. But if we can take him down, I'm taking him down. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay? You, you do not do that to people. Alright? Don't treat people with such disrespect if they don't follow your ideals and everything. Try to remember everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has their own way of living. As long as our ways don't, you know, go against each other... Like, they don't bring conflict, or worse, they don't have one person bringing conflict onto another, you know, like, murder or rape or anything like that, then it's okay to have different opinions. We can easily, you know, negotiate and talk about it and everything, and everything will be fine. And that's kind of what you want this character in the game to be like. You want him to be the ultimate diplomat. He wants to be able to have everyone work together despite their differences. Um, but you know, not everyone can be appeased, and, uh, that's, that's very bad. Especially when those who can't be appeased do very bad things. Huh? What's this door lead to? The Magpie Moneylender's Shop. Ah, oh, I get it. So, this is supposed to be a loan shark, I guess, maybe? Alright, so that's going to be important later, is what Zave just said. Because Zave, he hasn't played the game yet. He watched Trev play it, though, because he's always out here. He doesn't give a fuck about spoilers. <laughs> Me? Depends on what the spoilers are from. So, like, for example... Um... I really didn't want to get, like, spoilers for... Well, I mean, I guess this game. But I did get some spoilers. But, no, what I really want to talk about is, like, I didn't want to get spoilers from... Oh, gosh, I know there was something I really didn't want spoilers from at once. But, like, it all depends. Sometimes I'll, I won't mind spoilers, sometimes I will. So, you know, I like to be careful of that. Okay, for a moment I thought you were about to point at the ground. No, you just summoned a broom out of nowhere, sir. Yeah, that's their magic. My magic is never giving up. <laughs> Actually, no, that's Asta's magic, but you know. Asta is one of my favorite characters at the current moment, so... Yeah. Might I actually play more Jump Force later if I don't play games with my friends? I haven't decided yet. I just know I want to, like, practice and everything more. And... Yeah, I'll take those two. We'll just scrap them. Always good to scrap stuff. Actually, how much money do I have, by the way? I forget. 86 coins. Yeah, I'm kind of poor because I keep spending money on shit. Of course, though, you can easily get money from everywhere. <laughs> I just hate when you're yawning in the middle of saying something. Alright, but anyway, so. Yeah. Either way, though. Maybe I should have gotten one of those uh, masks. Like, what if I have to s sneak around and dress up as a native in one quest? I'm not sure if it'll ever happen. I just know if it ever gets mentioned, I'll immediately want to run to the nearest, um, a barrier, or box, or something. Or, you know, if I'm supposed to be transferring over to another place, and I'll do that too. I'm just exploring, though, to see if there's any side quests I can pick up while I'm here. I don't think they appear on the map. Oh, wait, hold up. Question mark. What's this question mark? Hold on. I haven't fully explored the city, so I shall investigate that question mark then, if I can. I was about to ask if I could hop on the ship, then I look and nope. So I'm not gonna bother. Oh, it's a door of some kind. Uh oh. I got they just ignored armor completely, it looks like. You guys are all morons. voice were you trying to do there, Zave? I'll sod gloves. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> what if these people did come from the Bridge Alliance so that way they could try to mess with us? Either way, though, you don't really expect, uh, people in San Mateus to be wearing Al Saad gloves. Because after all, the Bridge Alliance and the people of Saleme are still fighting each other. What's this place? Is it a bar? That's bar. 
No, it's the coin guard barracks. Quartermaster Herbert. <laughs> okay, well, we know where this place is. We'll have it for later. Because I don't think he has anything to talk about right now. I don't know. Did we find the coin barracks back in, uh... Hickman? I don't think we did. Uh oh. More assholes. Oh, there's only three, yeah. Alright. Still getting plenty of stuff we can scrap, though. And we haven't even gotten over encumbered yet, so that's even better. Seriously, why are you guys just putting up your sun everywhere? Actually, that's an interesting question. Why is it that in video games, that it seems like any of the, um... Like, churches, those, uh, religions. Why is it that in video games, every time, it always seems to be something related to the sun? I mean, you got Solaire's little religion from Dark Souls, you've got the Chantry from Dragon Age, you've got this place in Greedfall. Like, what's up with that? What is this? Oh, Coin Tavern. Let me guess, if I go down here, that should be the brothel then. Which means... This is the Coin Arena. Ooh! You know what, actually, we're level 38 now, so maybe we'll be able to do this pretty well, and if not, then we'll know if there's an extra guy that we can fight against. Alright. You've got the novice's ring, which can't be... Huh. Alright, well, you got this old Tulemi war armor. Why don't we just focus on... Yeah, exactly, for the time being. Yeah, it's this one. Aw, oh, what? I need two pure iron ore to make the reinforced protections. Okay, then we'll at least make extended protections. I need more pure iron. I need at least three pure iron so yeah, I can upgrade that completely. Um, what about your old Tulemi gauntlets? Still, now I can wake all of these. Can't upgrade Petrus's rings though. Ready to excite the crowd. All right, may as well do it. Hold up. Wait, is it just like that? You do it in one place, you don't have to do it in another or something. I don't need to remind you how this works. All right, well, might as well just do the first challenge and see if that's the case. Here's how this bomb goes. See? It kills off those guys too easily. Okay, anyways, um... I need to get going. I guess if you do it in one place, you don't have to do it in another. Okay, that, that saves time, then. All right, well... I guess I just know I'll have to come back here every time I want to keep grinding now. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to travel. All the way back to New Serene. And we'll go back to the Desaudet residence. Because that's always a good place to go. Um, your armor is good for the time being, unfortunately. But, I mean, we should be setting up the... Upgrading materials anyways for later. Uh, yep, you've still got stuff I can't use. Oh, yeah. If I had enough money, I'd be able to get this for Petrus, definitely. The fuck? Uh, that one group. Alright, but you can't upgrade the magic rings, and that's kind of sad, really. Alright, levels loaded. Of course, I didn't expect it to take too long. It's just loading up, uh, freaking, yeah, the residence here. Guess we'll keep Petra salon for just a bit, because all the companions are gonna be in the place anyways when we get over there. Yeah, I know, Zave. 
Alright, so seven gold coins, greater balance potion, two ammo, marquee, doing gloves, elegant tricorn. Fire everything! I'm just gonna take everything. But while we're in here, just real quick. So this is the only way I can like have multiple people on at once. Alright, nope. That elegant tricorn's not gonna be as good as the felt tricorn. Okay, just wanted to see. It should definitely not be better than anything else everyone's wearing, because, like, Kurt, he's got the full officer set now. Or the major set, I guess, actually. But it's called the officer's Barut. That's the gold helmet that goes along with the set. And then I gave him the shield medal because I had it. Um. Oh, and he also has the great honor dual flamberge. It's a gold weapon, but the thing is, it does worse damage than the weapon I have equipped. But it's like the weapon that he could automatically use from the thing, so I don't understand. And it's your, I'm still working on the details here. Oh, she's got half of the Warrior King set. She still got the tier and robe, which is upgraded to pretty good. Um, and this healing necklace. And then I gave her the cutlass I was using beforehand. Because, you know, I'm not using it anymore. For the time being. So, you know, it just makes sense. No. Wrong thing. I meant to press. Well, I don't know. And then you still have a novice's ring? What the fuck is wrong with you, Petrus? You're not going to be doing a lot of damage until I get you some better. And then he's got the regulation al Saber Saber that um, she was using before. And he's still using the engraved four-barreled pistol I got him. Anyways. We shall head out now and talk to Constantine, even though it's nighttime. He'll put up with it. I hope. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to show it as nighttime or not. Cousin! We'll see. You have returned to nice. me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. No! Tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, <laughs> may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most <laughs> sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Mm-hmm. Any news of your parents? Of your no. Parents? With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. <laughs> oh! Ouch. I've been to the neighboring cities as you asked of me. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations yeah. in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, mm -hmm. we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. 
Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and mm -hmm. any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. Ugh. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. <laughs> have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Well, we do have one more thing. We were not able, alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan. We arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. <laughs> My sister survived, fortunately. And we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them, about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norts? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. <laughs> Anything else? Um... Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? <sighs> Honestly? Once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool, who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. Mm hmm. I mean, he doesn't sound so bad when he says it like our that. Our relations with our allies. Oh, they <laughs> bow and scrape and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island with our help. That's, yeah, a very good point. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you.